Hello everyone, welcome again. Well, in this video, we are going to discuss how you can take the screenshot with the help of Selenium WebDriver. And for that, we need to typecast our driver object to take screenshot interface. So driver take screenshot interface and using this, I'm going to call a method called get screenshot as and the argument will be output type and type will be file and this method is going to return me an object of type file so file will do this so when this th statement execute it is going to take the screenshot but the screenshot will be available inside the memory so in order to save it in your local drive you need to call a method called copy file in file util class so file utils dot copy file src and destination will be new file let's say my dot jpg and this method is going to throw a checked exception called io exception so i need to take the help of try catch so let me run this script in debug mode So it has hit the debug point. Let me do a step over. So it is going to select the corresponding value in the drop down. Now it is going to take the screenshot and now it is going to save it on my local drive. So if you look at over here, I didn't specify any absolute location. So by default, it is going to store the file inside my workspace folder or inside my project folder. So if I do a refresh, as you can see that there is a file name my.jpg so let me open the directory so here is the file so this is the screenshot we just taken so a screenshot will be uh, will be very helpful while debugging purpose for example when you are running a test case and some exception occur so at that time you can directly take the screenshot and that will be helpful to find out what is the reason for your test case failure so inside the helper i am going to create one more helper class and let me call it generic helper and inside this I'm going to create a method which will take the screenshot so this is going to extend our framework class and public static void take screen shot and the name of the file and try catch so this will be your IO exception. And I'm going to move this piece of code from here to our generic helper. So the location will be there will be a folder named screenshot and inside that I'm going to save our screenshot file so name dot jpg so inside our text select I'm going to generate the exception manually so let's say I'll generate file not found exception. So throw new file not found exception. So this is going to generate an exception explicitly. And here I'm going to call that method. So generic generic helper dot take screenshot. So usually you can provide any file name, but I will prefer to supply the name of class so that if any exception occur, it is good uh, that you will you will be able to figure out that from this class, this exception has been generated. 
So either I can hard code the name of class or I can directly call this also this dot get class dot to string. Okay. Or the other way around will be you just uh, supply the class name. Just like test select. So if I run this script again in debug mode. So it has hit the debug point. So let me do a step over. So it is going to select the corresponding value in the drop down. Then it is going to throw an exception. And now we will take the screenshot. So if I again open my project folder. So as you can see that there is a folder name is a name screenshot. And inside that we have a screenshot and the name you can see that class dot test case dot test select. So this is coming from your this string. But one more thing, if you look at the test ng console, the test case has been passed. So ideally when exception is generated, that means there is some problem with the test case and ideally our test case should get failed. The reason why it get passed, be, uh, it get passed because we have handled the exception. So we need to explicitly fail this test case. So for that, I'm going to take the help of assert dot fail. And here it will be to string. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to call the fail method, which is present inside the assert class. And I'm going to fail that test case and supply the message, whatever the exception is coming. Okay. So let me run this script once more. So as you can see that if the console we are getting the exception that is file not found exception and if you look at our test ng console yes our method got failed and the exception is that file not found. So in this manner you can take the screenshot and I have created a helper class or generic helper so that you can directly call the screenshot method where, wherever you want to use it. So that's all for this video and thanks for watching.